Hello everyone, it's Pat. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am bringing you guys my August TBR. Now, the month of August is actually my birthday. I was like planning on like really making sure that the books that I'm going to be reading for this month were books that I actually do want to get into very, very soon. But um, I forgot about it and these things were already in the library. So, I mean, I, I still do want to read them, but kind of I have different books in mind. Some of them are. But yeah, so <laughs> let's get started. The first book is actually Holy Sister by Mark Lawrence, which I already have finished. I started this, I think, at the end of July. It took me a while to finish this book. Um, I haven't really had time to like read so for the past few days. So I finished this earlier today and I really like I will definitely get more in depth in my wrap. And yeah. Holy Sister. Now the next one is actually a book from an author that I read a few books from earlier this year, was it? Or late last year. Anyway, she is a psychology graduate. She has degrees in, I think, clinical psychology. Yep, she has advanced degrees in psychology, psychiatry, and cognitive science. And her and she received a PhD in Yale University and she's currently a professor of psychology and professional writing at the University of Oklahoma. I'm talking about Jennifer Lynn Barnes and this is The Lovely and the Lost. And this is her latest book. This was released earlier this year, I think. And she read, she read, she wrote the, um, the Natural series, which is sort of a uh, sci-fi, no, not sci-fi more like a magical sort of fantasy book. It's about these uh, young teenagers. Young teen it's about these teenagers who are who have these kinds of abilities, and the FBI are using their uh, different uh, different abilities to help them in solving different um, cases. So uh, she applies a lot of psych psychological facts and psychiatry and all that in her books, which I actually really find found interesting because uh, the series is about criminal. It's like criminal minds, but for teenagers, pretty much. So I really enjoyed that series. It was a really fun, quick read and the psychology in it was just, you know. So I'm really interested to get to her latest book. I actually don't know what this is about, but I know that this is young adult, I believe. And I think we have a, lo a lost uh, teenager named Bella. And I don't know, I'm just really interested because I feel like she will be applying a lot of really um, in-depth psychological stuff in her books, in her book too, in this one. So yeah, love the lost. The next one is another Pride and Prejudice retelling that I've been wanting to get into and that is Pride by E.B. Zavoy. Um, honestly, I don't really know anything about this except for that this is a Pride and Prejudice retelling. And I earlier, I, I think it was last month, yeah, last month I read Unmarriageable which is a Pakistani modern Pride and Prejudice retelling. So I'm very excited to get into this. I think this is also going to be a modern one. Oh, it's Afro-Latino. So yeah, I'm very excited to get into this. I really liked Unmarriageable. Like I really enjoyed enjoyed reading about you know the Pakistani culture but it became a little too similar to the original book and I wanted a little bit more twist to it a little more interpretation of different events so again it's something that I'm hoping that this will do like I know Pride and Prejudice has like a specific story and I feel but I feel like there's a lot of different ways that you can mix it up and and not just about where it's set and the people that you follow but also like the storyline. I feel like it could be reinterpreted into different things. So I'm really, really excited to get into this. Hopefully this will be something that I like a little bit more. This is pretty short. It's only 289 pages. And yeah, I feel like I'm going to be devouring this. So the next one is a graphic novel. I don't read a lot of graphic novels, but with the reading, ru reading rush, I actually was able to read two different kinds of graphic novels that I do have that I have been wanting to get into. I was planning on reading this. This is Nimona by Noel Stevenson uh, during that month, but the library wasn't able to loan me the um, the the ebook copy of this online. So I decided to just get the um, physical copy. And I think this is a fantasy, yep, a fantasy graphic novel. And look at that. I don't read a lot of graphic novels and I need to start reading. It says, Nimona is an impulsive young shapeshifter 
with a knack for villainy. Lord Ballister Blackheart is a villain with a vendetta. A sidekick and supervillain, Nimona and Lord Blackheart are about to wreak some serious havoc. Their mission? Prove to the kingdom that Sir Ambrosius Golden Lion and his buddies at the Institution of Law Enforcement and Heroics aren't the heroes everyone thinks they are. Nemesis, dragon, scion, symbolism, all these ha all these and more await in this brilliantly, sub brilliantly subversive, sharply irreverent epic from Noelle Stevenson, based on her award-winning award -winning webcomic. So yeah, I'm really excited to get into this. I know a lot of people really enjoy and love this um, graphic novel as well. I think this is the first in a few books that she's planning on releasing. It's pretty new. I think this was released this year, early last year. Let me see. Oh no, 2015. This was released a few years ago. Again, I'm not sure if we have a little bit more. I think uh, there's a few more books uh, in this series. So I'm really excited to get into this. Again, this is going to be a really fast read for me. I mean, this is 260 pages and it's a graphic novel. So probably couldn't read this in like one, one sitting down. So I'm really excited to get into this too. The next one is, uh, I'm so excited. It's pretty big. It's chunkier than I expected it to be. I'm talking about uh, Shannon McGuire's, McGuire's? Shannon McGuire's newest book, uh, Middle Game. I know that this is, I think, adult or young adult fantasy. And I mean, I don't really know much about it because all I know is that it's Shannon McGuire and I really enjoyed her uh, We Were Children series. I like how, I like her writing style because with the We Were Children series, they're short novels. They're all under 250 pages and over and i think 250 to 300 pages and they f all feel so like well most of them always they all almost all of them feel so complex and really put together and she has this way of writing a style that really takes you where uh where the story is getting where the story is like you you get transported to it and i really enjoyed her writing style i know she has a background in psychology as well is that right no she doesn't and yeah, I'm really excited to read this book. I know a lot of people like this book as well. They might, there might be some mixed reviews on it, but I'm very excited to get into this. I know she's going to blow me. Oh my gosh, these are small texts, and this is like how many pages? 523 pages. They're small texts, and they're just there are no spaces. Oh my god, this is going to be chunky. This is actually what I'm going to be reading. Uh, right, this is what I'm reading right now. I haven't started it, but I will try to start it as soon as I can. The next one is actually something that I recently decided that I want to get into and that is Lux by Jennifer L. Armentrout. This is a collection of the first two novels in the Lux series. Is that right? This is the Lux Beginnings and I think this is sci-fi and they're talking about aliens. And I know, I think I tried to read like a spin-off series, a first book in this one. I'm not sure if I finished that one, but I really loved her Sentinel series. Am I remembering that correctly? I know that the Sentinel series were like retellings, oh no, like compared a lot to Vampire Academy. And I read that one, the series before I read Vampire Academy. I actually really prefer that book because it's those that series because it's a lot more complex and the magic system is like amazing and it just crack like i binge i binge read all of the books in a series I'm like reading everywhere in my car in the car while we were going somewhere just everywhere i'm like hooked to it when i read it like a few years ago when i was still in high school so i really enjoyed her writing style i haven't read um anything more from her i know i remember reading white hot kiss and enjoying that book but i haven't you know continued on with the series because it was the first book in the series at the time and i wanted you know i've been the series like i can't wait years like i rarely do that so i stopped and i was like okay i'm gonna come back to this in a few years if i feel like i need to if i feel like i want to I actually want to that's why i'm starting to i'm going to start reading uh this book as well because i want to get back into her writing style because she also was able to take me to her world and it's so interesting and complex and it's like crack you just read it and you just read through it and you don't even notice that you, you you've been reading like 500 pages i don't actually know but i know her books were pretty chunky Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm really excited. I hope I will be like very. I hope that I will still like this too, because it's been years. It's definitely my my taint my tastes have changed quite a bit from then so yeah but still i'm very still very 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 excited about it and the last book that i have is serious moonlight by jen bennett i decided to read this one for this month because this is set in seattle and i live in washington i don't live in seattle but i've been to seattle quite a few times 
And I don't know, I just feel like I needed something that is set here. And I know that quite a few people have mixed reviews on this, but I think this is more of a like book rather than a love book. So I'm really excited. This is more of a romance with some mystery, I think. So yeah. I'm just really excited to get into this. Just a fun read. For this month, that's what I've just been wanting to do, fun read. Also, I want to include in this list, Stargirl by Jerry Spinelli, which is my favorite book. It's like, if you ask me which one, what is my favorite book, that's it. Uh, I read it when I was in high school and I wish I read it when I was in elementary because I resonated a lot um, with Stargirl when I read that. It was, I saw a lot of myself in her and you know, what she went through. I mean, I'm not a Stargirl, Stargirl kind of person, but I definitely felt very detached and different from um, a lot of people. And so it made me feel very alone. That's deep. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I am planning on reading that this month. It's a short book. I know I'll be reading it in one go. And especially because it's my favorite book, I'll probably just read it. I'm planning on buying it so that I'll have my own copy. It's something, it's one of the books that I've, you know, been planning on wanting. I know I've been planning on buying. So yeah, that is it for this August CBR. Most of, of these books I am very excited about to you know, get into. Some of them I ha I wasn't planning on getting into this month, but you know, it's fine. I can just read some of the other books. Also, I was planning on doing Priority of the Orange Tree again this month. I was planning on reading it last month, but I wasn't able to get into it. <laughs> I'm still sort of procrastinating because it's such a huge chunky book. But since this month, I am going to be reading quite a bit of, you know, very thick books. Um, I'll try to start to read in September. Anyway, I feel like I will really enjoy reading it during the fall time because fall is my favorite season fantasy is my favorite genre dragons are probably the best part of fantasy books for me so yeah <laughs> probably just be reading that in the month of september or october so yeah that's it for my really quick august dbr thank you so much for watching if you guys have read some of the books that i have already read tell me what you guys thought if you think i would like it or not uh if, what you liked about it and what you don't like about it if you're also planning on reading these books and if you're interested if you're not interested in reading these books and you heard like really bad things tell me in the comments down below yeah that's it for this video thank you so much for watching bye